Local mental health experts say it's taking a psychological toll, too. For the duration of this story, you'll see contact information for a hotline you can call if you need help. Our Five on Your Side investigator Joe Paganakis learned ways we can all deal during these difficult times. Northeast Ohio racial unrest boiling over following the Minneapolis police-involved death of George Floyd. Frustration with our country that we're not further along than we are. Local mental health experts say addressing real social change is creating growing stress, with Northeast Ohio calls for counseling services up 25 to 30 percent in just the past two weeks. The warm line is actually now receiving over 5,500 calls per month. Adams Board of Cuyahoga County CEO Scott Osicki says people should keep watch for the warning signs. Fatigue, increased use of alcohol or drugs, anger, irritability, mood swings. Local racial and civil unrest is creating unknowns for a growing part of our community. Telling somebody things are going to get better right away is an is just not true. Jane Granzier with Frontline Services says there is no quick fix, that people dealing with anxiety should share their feelings with family and friends or seek counseling. Granzier says frustration within the African-American community is especially high. With the racial tension, I feel like there's this angst that we are, that people are doing work now, that work is being done, but will it be sustained? And experts say easing the anxiety starts with working to get a good night's sleep, eating right, and planning outdoor activities. Disconnect from social media for a while. You know, just kind of take a break from that. And even if the news is too much for people to handle now, it's okay to shut that off for a couple days. I'm Five on Your Side investigator Joe Paganakis.